Hey guys, Larry here. Been getting a lot of great comments and stuff on my last video about how to build that automatic light activator. Really appreciating all the feedback and whatnot. And the main question I've been getting is how do you kill people with this thing? Can you build a trap base with it? <laughs> you sure can. You sure can. And I'm going to show you how right now. Alright, so you're going to want to build a 3x2. I know that seems kind of weird, but this is how we're going to make this work. If you're doing this on a live server, you're going to want to get your base up pretty quickly. So don't worry about the traps for now. Just get the walls down and then build the entrance like this with a door to the to the right and a door frame and then throw a wall here and a door there and then double doors here and there finish your roof don't forget the TC roof and don't forget this one all right, stone everything up, and then you're gonna throw a double door on the front to secure your base. You wanna make sure that you're safe before you start screwing around with traps. There's no point to start this and then get murked five minutes in. Okay, so make sure the double door faces in. Now you're going to want to put a TC down right like this. As far in the corner as you can. And sometimes you may actually want to put a generator down before you put the TC down. Because weird, it's weird the way it fits. Alright, so stock up your TC, you're good. Alright, next you're going to build your loot room, just like so. This really doesn't matter because you're not keeping any important loot in here, this is just a trap base. Alright, sweet. So you got your base down. We can put a door on the TC room to secure that. You don't want anyone getting in there, and make sure to code lock your TC as well. Sweet. So yeah, the TC didn't quite fit. Uh, this might take you a few tries. You might actually have to place the generator in advance of the TC. It, I mean, if, if you have to place the TC first, just slap it down sideways. All right, so the generator only has one output. So, yeah, we're going to want to split that up because we're going to need more than one. I mean, we're going to need to power more than one thing. So now we have three outputs from the generator. Then we're going to take the memory cell, which is a on off switch, which can latch and release based on certain events. We're going to throw power into that. Nice. Alright, that's all powered up. Now, the output from that, we're going to want to do multiple things with as well. Actually, we're going to need more power sources, so we're just going to split off the power again. 
throw it in there. Now we have three more, so now we have five power outputs. Sweet. So we need a way to open the door and reset the trap after somebody, you know, springs it. And this switch is going to go up to uh, the reset pin? No. No, 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 no. That's, yeah, that's not right. So clear that. We're going to go to the set pin. Yeah. And then every time we turn that switch on and off, it's going to open the front door. Once we connect the door controller, which is uh, here. Put the door controller up there as far as you can, and then we're going to run a power wire. Wait, you can run stuff right through walls now. Okay, so let's just walk in there, grab that, bring it over here, and we're going to put it on the output of the memory. There. So every time we flick that switch, no matter what happens, it, the door will open. If the door is open, it'll stay open, obviously, but... So now we need a way for our victims to close the door when they come in. And for that, we're going to use a pressure plate. Put it right in the middle, as square as you can. And we're going to cover it up later, but we need to wire it up first. Take the power in. Alright, we need power for it. We're going to bring in power out. We'll try and be as neat as possible. We're going to go through the wall here, but we're going to follow the lines of the stone foundation. Just so that it's a lot harder to see the wires. Okay, so that's got power. We're going to take the power out. Now this is what we want it to do. You know, we want it to do something when we hit the switch. Well, we're going to tell it right now what, what it's supposed to do. I think I just screwed that up. We might need to check that. So we're going to reset this every time somebody hits the pressure plate. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I did. See that? See how the wire's sticking up right there? You want to try and be as neat as possible with this. Because if somebody can see that, they're going to know it's pretty much a trap. So let's do that once more. Let's bring it right to the corner. And then we'll put it on the floor right here. We'll make sure it's absolutely flat. It's, you gotta be real sneaky. Okay, it doesn't really matter in this room, but... Okay, open the door. And that's perfect. Nobody can see it. Awesome. Okay, so let's cover this up. Like, how do you conceal this? That's the next step. How about a workbench, which will cover up the cable, and then you want to make it look lived in, so a couple of sleeping bags. Now these are really tricky to place, this took me a good couple of hours to figure that out, but if you put one here, and then you flip this around and you throw it here, boom, your trap is completely concealed. You can't see nothing. And you just add some accoutrement. That actually forces people to, you know, you're funneling them over the switch at that point with the research table. They have to go over that switch. And then once they get in here, there is no way out. So that resets the door. I mean, you can manually reset the door and let them out, but they still have to get over that switch to get out. And uh, from trying it out, there's absolutely not 
very many ways to jump over that switch. So you can tease them a good bit. Okay, so we got the trap set. Now we need to figure out how are we going to kill our victims once they're trapped in here. And this is where these two loot rooms come in. We just grab a bunch of shotgun traps and we're going to fill this whole area with as many shotgun traps as you can make. And, I mean, if you want to get all Oblivion style with it, you can throw some flame turrets down underneath. Those really hurt as well. Use your imagination with this part. This is your time to create. I've laid the foundation. And it's up to you how you want to kill your victims. I just placed that backwards. So the last thing you're going to want to do is place double doors, not garage doors. They don't open quick enough. The double doors go like this, they open in. Make sure you lock them. And then you're going to want to put door controllers on both. Now this is your kill trap. So at the flick of a switch, after you trap your victims, you're gonna be able to just dispatch them easily and quickly. Make sure you place the door controllers in an inconspicuous area. So for the controls, you're going to grab yourself a switch and a timer because you want the doors to close automatically after a certain couple of seconds. It doesn't take long to kill people with this. Just take some power from one of your outputs, throw it into your switch, output into the timer, and then you're just going to take the output of your timer actually we're gonna yeah we're gonna need to split the output because we're running two door controllers so we'll take it out of the splitter all the way around through the walls um, you might wanna make sure it's nice and neat so they can't see it before they're trapped And then we'll just put it down into that one. That's fine. We'll take another output. And then we'll bring it over to our other door.
Yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's a simple trap base. I hope you guys learned something from this. And if you do decide to do this on a live server, please let me know. I would love to see this in action. This is just a concept, something I came up with over a couple of hours. Something that was suggested to me by a viewer and you know what it's totally doable so you know what get out there to uh, December 6th once the force wipe comes and this stuff is actually available I want to see some trap bases I want to see it I'm challenging you guys right now let's go with the trap bases one two three go